Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Maths EC episode for today, we will be learning expanding to brackets. So let's get started. Expanding to brackets. Expanding brackets in general is that when to expand out two brackets, we need to multiply each of the things in the first bracket by each of the things in the second bracket. So this would be our first bracket and y plus 3 will be our second bracket. So we have to multiply each of the things here. So we will start with x distribute it to the other bracket so x times y will be xy x times positive 3 will be plus 3x then we proceed with the next item which is plus 2 multiply to 2y that's plus 2y multiply to 2 to 3 that will be plus 6 now when we simplify, we have to find if there is something in common. If there is none, therefore, this is our final answer. Now when we expand square brackets, if we would notice that we have a value inside x minus 5 squared and 2x plus 1 squared. So that means that we can write this in general form we have first term plus or minus the second term would be, that's a plus or minus, would be the square of the first term plus or minus, depends on the middle terms operation, plus minus twice the product of the first term times the second term. And then plus the square of the last term. So for this expression, we will expand this as the square of the first term, that will be x squared. Since it's a minus, that will also be a minus. Twice the product of the first and the second term. So the product of the first and the second term is 5x. Twice that will be 10x, so minus 10x plus the square of our last term, or second term, that will be 25. That is our final answer. This is a quicker way to collect all terms and to do it instead of expanding it one at a time. So again, let's do it for the second one. The square of the first term, that will be 4x squared. The operation is plus, so we place plus. The product of these two terms, that's 2x times 1, which is 2x, times 2, okay, twice the product of AB. So twice the product of 2x, that means 4x, plus the square of the last term, which is 1. Therefore, the final answer will be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Let's try more examples. Let's say we have x minus 1 times x plus 1. So the first step is to distribute each term on the first bracket to the second bracket. So you'll have x times x will be x squared. x times 1 will be plus x. Negative 1 times x will be minus x. Negative 1 times 1 will be negative 1. Since this is common x here is a common term x and minus x so therefore we have to combine therefore our final answer will be x squared plus x minus x is 0 minus 1 so that will be your final answer the second one would be 2x distributed to the second bracket 2x times y will be 2xy 2x times 6 will be plus 12x. Negative 
2 times y will be negative 2y. Negative 2 times 6 will be negative 12. Therefore, the final answer would be negative 2xy plus 12x minus 2y minus 12. Why is this the final answer? Because there is nothing in common between all terms. The last one would be, let's apply the shortcut method. First is square of the first term. That will be x squared twice the product of x and 3. So x times 3 is 3x times 2 will be plus 6x. And then plus the square of the last term, which is 9. Therefore, that's your final answer. Now it's your turn. Try to do the following. All right, let's do the first one. So since you have an x minus here, we'll do this last. First is, this is multiplication, so we do x times x will be x squared. So this will be x minus bracket x squared. x times one will be minus x. Four times x will be plus four x. And then 4 times negative 1 will be minus 4. Combine like terms, you will have x minus, this is minus x and plus 4. So that will be x squared plus 3x plus minus, sorry, minus 4. Then since our negative here is outside the bracket, we will distribute the negative that will be changing all the signs inside your bracket. So that will be x minus x squared minus 3x plus 4. Then we combine like terms. Like terms here is x and negative 3x. Therefore, our final answer would be negative x squared minus 2x plus 4. Right. Now let's do number two. Number two, by the way, this is a square. So since it's a square, we will have, we we'll copy x squared first, minus, and then bracket, the square of the first term. That will be 4x squared. Minus, since that's the operation, minus, 2x times 1 is 2x times 2 will be 4x square of the last term plus 1 then we distribute the minus sign outside that will be x squared minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 1 combining like terms x squared minus 4x squared will be negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 and this is our final answer now the last one we have to distribute each term on the first bracket to the second bracket so x squared times x squared will be what do you think will be the answer it will be x to the power of 4 that is right x squared times x would be x to the power of 3 that is correct x squared times 1 will be plus x squared next would be the second term of the first group 3 times x squared will be plus 3x squared 3 times x will be plus 3x 3 times 1 will be plus Then we combine like terms. Since that's x to the power of 4, so we copy x to the power of 4. 
this is alone as well x cubed there is nothing x cubed there so we copy x to the power of 3 x squared plus 3x squared that's like terms so plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 3 and that is our final answer I hope that you have learned something from our episode for today and if you do please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today and as always as teacher Maria would say please do live your life to the fullest learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us see you next episode for our math easy series bye